What's up, folks? Permanent Patriot here. We're over on weathermodification.com. Weather Modification Incorporated. Uh, if you want to go and look up their website. Um, so this is just more proof that they are able to control the weather, to modify the weather, to use weather as a weapon. I've done several, several videos on this. And it seems like uh, a lot of people are still very skeptical about it. Um, I have placed weather and devices on airplanes for the U.S. Air Force. So this is not uh, a gimmick. It's nothing to be skeptical about. It's just pure fact. So I get highly upset when people tell me that, um, you know, it can't be done. And that it's just manipulation by me personally. For those of you who don't know, if you look up in the fucking sky and you see contrails from jets, okay, first of all, a contrail dissipates in less than a minute. So when you see a jet flying and it's leaving that little trail behind it, Within a minute, if that is a contrail, it will dissipate. However, if you see a jet flying and it's leaving a trail behind it and it's not going anywhere, but it's spreading like a fucking cloud, that is cloud seeding. Now, I know this is hard for a lot of you to understand and accept. Let me take you back to 1968, which you could probably go and look up any place. I mean, you just get, you go to Google or YouTube or anything, even go to the US military's own website. And it will tell you about weather modification. Um, they flooded the Ho Chi Minh Trail in 1968 using this technology. So I just want to do a, another overview of how this actually works. So we're over on weathermodification.com. If you come here, it tells you, you know, about us. There you go. Now more than ever, the worldwide need for solutions to atmospheric necessi necessities, such as water resource management and environmental quality monitoring, is critical. With nearly a half century, with nearly a half century of successful programs and experience speaks for itself. Now, if you come over here to program services, it will tell you right off the bat, sky's the limit, Weather Modification Inc. has a wide range of services to provide knowledge, data, equipment, and capability at any phase in your project. That's including the military, the Air Force. We can also tailor a program to meet your specific objectives and manage it from beginning to end. Our talented scientists, researchers, project managers, technicians, and pilots have the expertise you need to carry out an efficient, effective weather program. Moving down on the same page for feasible studies. Weather Modification Inc. has been involved in multiple programs with the goal of identifying the potential benefits derived from the application of 
cloud seeding techniques. Our feasibility studies focus on the cloud structures and patterns in the project area. Gathered information assists in identifying the cloud seeding technology that's best suited for the project. And here you can see a diagram of how this works. Okay. You got this feasibility studies, which go into the systems integration, into the program design, into the program management, into the technology transfer. So it's a cyclical matter here that absolutely works. I promise you it does because the U.S. Air Force and people around the globe use it. So then you get into meteorological services, atmospheric assessment, evaluation, cloud seeding, weather, radar systems, environmental monitoring, and aircraft. Okay, aircraft, like I said, I've actually worked on this. I've actually put these devices onto the planes, which actually spray these heavy metals. I wouldn't say chemicals. Uh, I'd say heavy metals into the atmosphere. So pretty much what happens here is they have ionosphere heaters in the upper ionosphere. So what happens is the ionosphere heaters heat up the upper atmosphere, making it pretty much bend. Okay, it goes from something like this to something like this. And what that does is creates, it pretty much heats up the ionosphere, which is why it bends like that. And so then what happens is they will drop silver iodine into that particular spot. And that silver iodine will collect moisture and the moisture will fall down as rain. So they can make it rain wherever the fuck they want. Now, like I said, they used this on the Ho Chi Minh Trail in Vietnam. And they flooded the shit out of that trail for about three months straight. Because RGIs were getting killed left and right because of the tunnels that the Vietnamese were building underneath the ground. So the solution they came up with was if we flood the shit out of this place, they won't have any more tunnels. Uh, you can go and look that one up. So come to the meteorological services, uh, which I really want not even take anything from because the meteorologists lie to you just as much as the fucking government does. So I wouldn't believe a damn thing that they say. Best thing to do would be to educate yourself on this and to go and look it up for yourself and see what they're lying to you about. So then you got atmospheric assessment and evaluation capturing the sky's knowledge and then they got precipitation development and measurement cloud formation and character weather monitoring and remote sensing um, once you come to stuff like this this is pretty much what harp is based on uh high auroral frequency you know i can't even think of it i can't even think of it right now because i'm so fucking angry but we'll get into that in a minute, so don't worry about it. Um, the next thing you got is cloud seeding, which is what I was just talking about. Increasing precipitation. Now, if they can do this, ask yourself, why aren't they doing this in places like California? where the drought has been going on for about 
15 years or more. Water resources are increasingly taxed by exploding demand and continued population growth. The world's population is project projected to grow over 40% in the next 45 years. Weather modification, commonly known as cloud seeding, is the application of scientific technology that can enhance a cloud's ability to produce precipitation, which is what I just told you. Weather Modification Inc. is on the forefront of scientific technology to maximize water availability worldwide. Which uh, I guess is why California has laws in place where you can only water your lawn uh, on a Wednesday or limit your showers to 15 minutes. Application of scientific concepts and extensive scientific experimentation has proven that cloud seeding increases the amount of precipitation. Enlist our team of cloud seeding experts. Whether you're looking for a small operation or a full program, Weather Modification Inc. can assure your cloud seeding project runs smoothly. From Federal Aviation Administration approved aircraft installations configured for aerial cloud seeding and cloud physics to ground-based seeding equipment and training, which is um, aeronautic ground equipment, which is what I was involved in, Weather Modification Inc. has the equipment experience and knowledge you need. Okay? There's aerial cloud seeding and there's ground cloud seeding. Excuse me ahead of time if I get upset because uh, this kind of stuff really pisses me off. So then you get into weather radar systems, which I'm not even really going to touch on because. It's bullshit. But there you go. There it is right there. It'll tell you about it. Now you have environmental monitoring, which measures the aerosols, the visibility, and the cloud formation. Now, if you look up in the sky, uh, you know, when the sun is setting or when the sun is rising, and you're like, wow, that is an incredible sunset. It's so beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. No, you haven't. Because it's experimental. And the reason you haven't seen it, folks, that's not a sunset. That is certain types of metals. That's aluminum, barium, strontium, etc. Heavy metals glinting off of the sun. And different metals have different colors. For example, you know, when the sun is glinting off the aluminum that's up in the sky, it'll turn purple. When barium is doing it, it will turn a goldish, orangish color, and so on. Okay. So, pretty sunset? Yes. Safe sunset? No. This, these heavy metals are dropping on the tops of trees, which is why you see trees dying off from the top down. Making it easier, a hell of a lot easier, because when you got chemicals on places like trees and lightning hits them, eh, lightning and chemicals tend not to mix too well together. i.e. your wildfires, your droughts, killing off fucking trees without chopping them down. Getting into the aircraft aspect of it, 
Weather Modification Inc. has been modifying and operating aircraft for cloud seeding and atmospheric research operations since 1961. Even before then, uh, we maintain and operate a fleet of more than 35 twin engine aircraft and various configurations that meet the needs of every client. This is not including, obviously, the U.S. Air Force or the Navy, Army Air Corps, whatever. Weather Modification Inc. uses several modes of aircraft, several models of aircraft in our own operations. Although we can adapt our equipment to virtually any type of aircraft or specific customer needs, Weather Modification Inc has the following aircraft types in service and available at this time. And there you go. Now, what they're doing with a fucking bomb bombarder, you know, I have no idea. Um, Cessna and the Piper, those would be your crop dusting planes, which is obvious. But, you know, what they're doing with a Hawker or a Bombardier, Beechcraft at King Air, I have no idea. Um, those are military and personal planes. But moving on. If you operate your own aviation fleet, we can provide custom modified aircraft to match your specific mission requirements. Or we can modify your existing aircraft to perform the operations required. Our talented team of experienced technicians facilitates the entire process from design to modification to U.S. Federal Aviation Administration Standard Certification. Weather Modification Inc. can also perform any necessary maintenance required or upgrades requested by the client during the modification process. Some of the modifications we currently perform are VIP transport photographic equipment, remote sensing, environmental monitoring, telemetry, atmospheric chemistry, cloud physics measurements, air ambulance, and cloud seeding. Weather Modification Inc. has acquired U.S. FAA Supplemental Type Certificate for select seeding equipment for the following aircraft, the Hawker and the King Air. Okay. Then it gets into sales and leasing. Now, moving on from there, coming back over for the millionth time to geoengineeringwatch.org, which I have done a ridiculous amount of videos from. Now, you tell me, if my word isn't good enough, you tell me that I'm bullshitting. CIA, weather, warfare's next weapon, massive U.S. Senate document on national and global weather modification. In case you haven't figured out yet, weather modification means you can make the weather. You can make it rain someplace that it doesn't rain. You can make it be hot as fuck and dry as fuck someplace it doesn't. It's not so hot or dry. You can make it snow. You can make it rain. You can make it hail. Weather Modification Research and Technology Transfer Authorization Act. 1966 U.S. government document outlining national weather modification programs and implications about this important document. Space Preservation Act of 2001. Agriculture Defense Coalition press release from the U.S. Department of Energy. And then we start getting into all the aluminum, which, by the way, if you didn't know, aluminum, number one cause of Alzheimer's and dementia. If you folks ever been driving along or even walking, and you notice little particles floating around like it's snowing, but it's not snowing. 
That's what you're seeing. It's the heavy metals floating around in the air. Chemtrails and winter illness. Case Orange. Dot, dot. From the Belford Group. Which is pretty much a uh, group of the Illuminati. So it talks about all the shit that al aluminum does and everything. Um, geoengineering. Heavy metals. Heavy metals. Ice nucleation for weather modification. International Symposium. Modification of cirrus clouds to reduce global warming. Permit to modify and control Montana weather. Solar radiation management. Now, there's a couple of these that happen here. If you say the word chemtrails, people look at you like a kooky conspiracy theorist. Meanwhile, the government will use terms like solar radiation management, geoengineering. Okay. Sustainability development. United Nations. Okay. You see how much I'm fucking kidding, folks? Can't control the weather, my balls. You just haven't done any fucking research on it or listened to anyone about it because it sounds so fucking crazy. What's the first one? That we came up with on here. Something about the CIA. Hello. McFly. Now we start getting into HARP. Project and non-lethal weapons. Folks, I'm not even kidding you. This HARP project. Can pinpoint earthquakes. Can create hurricanes. Can create tornadoes. Don't worry. I'll be getting in a lot more deeper detail about HARP. There's all your reports. Folks, these are all, all government documents. How do you get them, you ask? Well, you could get them under FOIA, Freedom of Information Act. Or you could come over to geoengineeringwatch.org, go to the patents list. And once again, let's look at the patents. 1891. Method of producing rainfall. How they can do this before they had airplanes, you ask. Have you ever heard of a fucking rocket? How about 1913? Rain maker. Gee, I wonder what that fucking patent does. I'm not going to go through all of these again. I've been through them a million times, and people just aren't getting the fucking message here. I put this shit on fucking aircraft for the Air Force. So don't tell me that it's fucking bullshit. You just haven't done your fucking homework. So snap the fuck out of it. Realize what the hell's going on. And that they're poisoning us from the air and from the ground. And question people about it. That need to be questioned. You got anyone in your family who's got Alzheimer's or dementia? 
How about autism? How about bone cancer? Maybe you want to come over to YouTube, check out America's Secrets, Weather Modification. Okay, the stunning proof of U.S. Navy megawatt microwave beams heating the ionosphere and producing a, local, a localized hot spot, which shows up as a divot in the cloud tops. This stationary divot is proof of downward air movement in one spot. I, I was really stunned to see this is coming from a scientist here. I was really stunned at this man-made divot with several concentric roll clouds emanating from the center. That would be cloud seeding. There's no natural explanation for the divot in concentric roll clouds. Two hours later, all the surface storms magically disappeared, which was the goal to stop another hurricane from forming. Now, folks, they can steer hurricanes. So ask yourself why they don't steer them back into the fucking ocean. Why do they steer them onto land? That kills people and destroys property. Because that's their fucking goal. Hello. Weather weapon and must be banned by international treaty. Clear evidence that this technology is real and is being used many times every day. We must demand a worldwide ban. This weather control operation was done to prevent another hurricane from forming only 10 days after Hurricane Florence made landfall. With Atlantic sea surface temperatures of 85 degrees and no wind shear, this new hurricane would have been another major hurricane in a few of the Okay, so it's telling you that they can kill hurricanes and they can steer hurricanes. So fuck you, I'm bullshitting. Maybe you need to snap the fuck out of it and do a little research of your own and prove to yourself that it ain't bullshit and they can create weather. They can modify weather. They can make it rain in the fucking desert. They can make it snow in the fucking desert. Have you folks ever seen any snowstorms in New Mexico? Some of the worst this country's ever seen. What else happened in New Mexico? Uh, oh, that's where they made the atomic bomb. But don't worry, no one's going to get hurt or injured. And the next thing you know, people are dropping dead like fucking flies from radiation poisoning. So get with the times, snap the fuck out of it, and wake up to reality. I'm going to be doing hundreds of more videos on this. I've already done dozens and dozens and dozens. Permanent Patriot on YouTube. Fighters of the Founders on YouTube. Fighters of the Founders and Permanent Patriot on Facebook. I could go on forever. Geoengineeringwatch.org. Weathermodificationinc.com. I mean, I understand it's hard information to take. But when does the fucking madness end? That's all I've got to say for right now because I'm getting very upset. And don't believe me. Just look into it for yourself. That's it for now. God bless and carry on.